What's up guys, my name is Cornelius Robinson and this is Overshoot. Today I'm designing a Raspberry Pi dev board in Flux, so let's get into it. I started this project with the RP2040 chip and I added the basic power inputs. Then I moved into wiring the flash IC with the appropriate pins. Next was the USB-C port. Two pull-down resistors are needed to get the power required for this board. Then we can add the crystal oscillator and reset button. Because the Raspberry Pi runs on 3.3 volts, we need a regulator powered by the USB port. While we're at it, let's add an RGB LED for status indication. Finally, we can add breadboard compatible headers for the rest of the pins. Oh, I forgot that we need a button to boot the system. Now that the design is done, I just need to go through and find a part number for each generic resistor and capacitor that I placed. Okay, now we can finally move on to the PCB. After I got the essential components figured out, I started placing the rest. Some needed to be placed on the bottom for space reasons. Because this board is small, routing was a little bit tricky. 
I needed to use all four layers to avoid crossing traces. And we're done. Here's the 3D model. I am making this project available for anyone to use. Just check the link in the description. Please give this video a like if you found it helpful and subscribe for more content like this every week.